So today is day number seven for the advent calendar where I invited uh, 12 friends to create something to contribute and then they made 12 things and then they received 12 different things back. It just so happens that one of our friends had to back out at the last minute due to unforeseen circumstances and so I'm going to share mine today. So this was mine and oh my gosh look at the craftsmanship. <laughs> I'm being silly. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's just kind of funny to showcase my own thing. But I made these little marshmallow shakers. I think that they're so cute. I bought those last year and um, for the first time got to actually use them. I was thinking I was just making some little marshmallows and then all of a sudden I realized they were shakers. And so they ended up being a lot more time intensive than I anticipated, but that's okay. Um, and what I did was I was trying to kind of use some different paper up. And so I made, I think, I used like six different patterns of paper, I think, for the for the things I made. This one is going to be like traditional vintage Christmas because I used the traditional vintage um, Christmas marshmallows. And so you can see like, it's like blue and red and green. It's one of my favorite collections ever. It's from Cartabella and I bought so much of it because I just love it so much. So, this is what I created. I created a little wallet and um, it like flips open and stuff and there's rickrack on the outside. And then this one in particular, this collection, this paper collection, ended up getting this little reindeer on the front because I just thought it was like old fashioned looking. You know how they did a lot with like the plastic deers in the 60s, deers, deer in the 60s and stuff. So, and then of course, you know, glitter everywhere, glittery snowflakes. And then the font is like kind of old fashioned -y, so. And then there, here's my handcrafted by Tamara Little John, Urban Forager, 1973. And I love this, um, this ribbon and I used the last of it on this project. So I had to say goodbye to it. It also happens to be on our Christmas tree. So it's not like it's 100% gone, but it's a little bit gone. So one of the things that I've been really into this season is Heidi Swap. And I've been taking a lot of her classes and buying a lot of her stamps. And so I spent some time creating these tags this year um, using her layering techniques. And so there's a couple of those in here snowman guy and then this is like the checkbook portion of it and so of course you can put whatever you want here pictures writing whatever same thing here I'm assuming that people would put pictures there for that and then it just like keeps on going so it opens some more like that so here I put these little sentiments down and then there's just a little pocket behind it and so I have some more of those simple little marshmallows these are the simple ones in there and then this opens up again so you can tuck um, whatever you want in here and then this is another one of my Heidi Swap uh, tags that I created and this one has a to from on it and then just all the stuff I just have been having a really good time with her products lately like I'm way into it. I'm gonna start doing stop the blur this year and then this is the um, the Nutcracker from Scrap Diva's November release and obviously used a lot of the papers for this and there's a little vellum pocket here for him to rest in and the vellum pocket up here as well and I love this sticker like their smiles are just so cute to me I just love that and then this one opens also and um, there's one more of those tags in here this time with presents and lots of December um, so yeah, this is what I created and I'm hoping that somebody can use it for capturing some of their holiday memories and whatnot and yeah, so I don't, it's kind of funny to have opened my own because <laughs> I don't want to just go on and on about how great it is, but you know what? I wouldn't have made it if I didn't think it was great. So I had a lot of fun making these and I hope that the people who receive them enjoy them as well. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time for number eight.